So here is a gem in the story of God with a number of gems around it uh, that will really <laughs> hit it home to you uh, and again and again and again that God literally orchestrates entire events and entire movies, if you will, of real life history uh, to always glorify this number, his one and only son, Jesus equals eight today. So we're going to dive into details of the life of Josiah, the eight-year-old king. So the fact that he is the eight-year-old king is a glaring, glaring red light for us to dig further into his life to see what else God orchestrated for the glory of Jesus. So, watch this now. Pick up the story right from the beginning, 2 Kings 22. We read, Josiah was eight years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 31 years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Jedidah, the daughter of Adiah of Boscath. So, are you ready to dig and see the glory of God? Let's go for it. And folks, marvel that this is real life history. These are real places. Boscath was a real place where this boy was raised, um, or at least his mother was from this place. And um, these details are all in real people's life stories so you can understand just how God orchestrates things for the glory of one person. Jesus equals 8 at 8. Okay, are you ready to, to, to watch all this? So first of all, of course, the glaring red light at the, the uh, top of the gold mine is this number 8, that he was 8 years old when he began to reign. But now the details in the verse are the most glorious. The glory is absolutely in the details. Absolutely, the last shall be first. First of all, the final word in this introduction, and this we're jumping straight to this because this is going to uh, grab your attention and blow your mind with respect to details in the Bible. Boscath. <laughs> this is an exceedingly loaded number, this detail of where he was uh, from. 8 times 37 times 2. This is absolutely there for the glory of Jesus, equals 8 at 8, um, which equals 8 times 37 times 3. Boscath is absolutely in there for the glory of Jesus. Now, let's let's dig into this. Look at this. This is a rare gem. This word occurs only twice in the entire Bible, but get ready for this. It is a rare, rare gem, but look at how glorious it is. Um, Jesus equals 8 times 3 times 37. Christ equals 8 times 5 times 37. So, of course, Jesus Christ is 8 times 8 times 37. Well, Boscath is 8 times 37 times 2. Now this gets even better. What does what does the name of this city mean? It means literally elevated ground, a height upon rock. That is exactly what Christ came to be for us. Christ is the rock. He is the the house built on the rock that survives the impending judgment. That city, Boscoth, means elevated ground, a height upon rock. That is the exact definition of Christ, our rock. Now, um, and amazingly, now watch this. This will really blow your mind and, and sharpen your vision on what the Bible is and how God works and why details are in the Bible. Okay, watch this. So, Boscoth, the only other place where it occurs, this will really blow your mind, is the eighth city in a list of 16. I kid you not. This elevated ground, you know that song that says, On Christ the solid rock I stand, no other ground is sinking sand? Well, this city, Boscoth, is the eighth city in a list of 16. Let's jump right there. This is a rare and dazzling and overwhelming gem. Behold the glory of God. So here are, here is the list of cities. I will leave you to find where this list occurs in the Bible. But now you are starting to understand why there are entire lists of things in the Bible, and all of these lists have numbers. To glorify Jesus equals 8 at 8. God is a mathematician. He is the king of all accountants, if you will. He's the king of all um, data. <laughs> and uh, he does everything for the glory of one number. Jesus equals 8 at 8. So look at this list of eight cities. I'll leave you to find where it is for yourself. Um, but look at this. Both the first one is stamped with 8, very dramatically, being the 8th prime times 10, all emphasis on Mr. 8. 
And then all the way up to city number seven. City number seven divides by eight, so it's preparing us for the ultimate eight here. City number eight, our beloved Bozkath, <laughs> which means elevated ground, height, uh, safety upon a rock, eight, is eight times 37 times two. Glory to Jesus Christ. So that is the eighth city in a list of 16 cities. And this is, in fact, the same word as rock. Rock is eight times 37 in the Bible, using totally different letters, by the way. Do you see how the numbers unite this whole story? Even though the letters are, you know, God is using all letters all over the place. So rock equals 8 times 37. This Bozkath, which is an elevated height upon rock, is 8 times 37 doubled. It's the double of rock. Rock doubled. Christ is our rock. Hallelujah. Now, and, and note, marvel at this, my friends. Note that all the middle numbers in this list are not nearly as glorious as the eighth number. Look at that. So just so you can get a feel for the other kind of numbers that God uses. Um, you know, none of these are nearly as glorious as the eighth one. And, of course, the seventh leads the way to the glory of the eight because the seventh also divides by eight. And, uh, um, yeah, we detailed that the first one is stamped with eight. And furthermore, the root of this eight city is the strongest number possible. So that was the noun. But now you go to the three glyph root of Bozkath, and you get none other than triple eights. Bozkath is 192, which is eight times 24, or eight times eight tripled like this. That is emphatically for the glory of Jesus equals 888. And of course, the fact that they are all cities, Bozkath is a city. The word city itself in Hebrew. Uh, is a three-digit all-factor eight number that divides by eight perfectly to the glory of Jesus equals eight at eight. Um, and the, the word cities in plural. <laughs> so the, the word city individually divides by eight, and then the word cities, plural, uh, divides by eight twice. So Jesus emphatically takes the glory for all of those cities. And watch this now. This is going to continue to blow your mind. Now there's a list of cities that goes up to 88 cities. I kid you not, there are lists in the Bible that are that long, and they're there for the mathematical glory of Jesus. Now, there's a city that is 88th in the list. I'm going to leave you to find this. I'm going to let you find this like a Where's Waldo book in your Bible. It's called Zior. <laughs> and it has the number 37. This is the exact same number as the root of Jerusalem. <laughs> Salem. 37. This is the glory of Jesus equals 888. Remember, everything keeps pointing to this one number. Jesus divides by 37. Christ divides by 37. Jesus Christ is 8 times 8 times 37. He takes the glory for this city called Zior, which is 37, which is just happens to be the 88th city in a giant list. It's all to the glory of Jesus equals 888. And furthermore, the root of this city, Zior, um, <laughs> is a perfect 360, which divides by 8, among other glories. And that means something very instructional. It says to be small, or lowly, or insignificant. It was a tiny little town. But it brings the most mathematical glory to Jesus. Are you, are you seeing how God is exalting the lowly in these discoveries? These, these gems that have been glossed over, have been ignored in the Word of God, have never been preached on, Zior, a town that means small, tiny, insignificant, God ordains to be the 88th city in his holy word. Furthermore, it has the most beautiful numbers of all, and uh, it means smallness. And God himself has said that the last shall be first. So now, preachers all over the world will preach on this, this, the fact that this small or lowly and insignificant town is the most glorious number mathematically, and it is the 88th city in a list of, of a long list of cities. And uh, this is to the glory of Jesus. And you can find all the instances. This, is, this city is a solitaire. That means it only occurs once. This is a solitaire gem. It, um, it only occurs in this one location in the Bible. Oh, it just keeps getting better. And then they're given a group of 10 and 6 cities for 16 in total. <laughs> Folks, now you have to stop and take a, a zoom out and, a, and take a breath of fresh air here. Um, these are entire cities. Entire cities. Like this This would be the equivalent of, um, you know, you picking any 16 cities 
in the country that you live in today and God just says, yeah, there's several hundred thousand people, millions of people living in those cities, but by the way, um, you know, I'm just going to use the fact that there are 16 uh, of these cities to glorify my one and only son, Jesus, equals A today. Are you starting to get a feel for how insignificant you are in this entire story and how great Christ is and how it's all about Jesus and how entire God will look at this folks stop and think about this this is real life folks this is real history that God went through a list of 88 cities and you know how many people are in each one of those cities you know over a thousand I'm sure in each city so you know God goes through 88 cities and the 88th city glorifies, he uses 88 entire cities of people, one of which has a special name, and he does all of that for the glory of one person, his one and only son, Jesus, equals 8 8, King of Kings. How does that make you care, you know, about what other people think of you? You should just completely drop it off a cliff and live only for Jesus, because everyone else is a speck of dust compared to this man, Jesus Christ. A speck of dust a number in a city if they if they don't do anything with their lives God will take glory for their life numerically anyway and um, ultimately this list goes on to 104 cities which divides by 8 perfectly and this is a 3 digit all factor 8 number and then it's followed by another 8 cities <laughs> to bring the total up to 112 which is a 3 digit all factor 8 number um, this is to the glory of Jesus equals 8 at 8. So, so, so God is giving a list of 112 cities just to glorify his one and only son, Jesus equals 8 at 8. So that's like the equivalent of you, you know, naming every single city, you know, major city in, let's say, the province of, you know, British Columbia or a single state in the United States, you know, naming the top 112 cities and saying, yeah, all, just this, this number, 112, these 112 cities, um, are just orchestrated completely for the glory of one person, and his name is Jesus equals eight at eight. It's that serious, folks. Everything, in on the massive scale, is all taken for Jesus equals eight at eight, and that's why it is utter foolishness <laughs> to disregard Jesus. Utter foolishness. The most foolish thing you can do in your lifetime is disregard Jesus. Now, um, oh, and again. This also confirms God pairing things to make multiples of eight all through the scripture. And um, so we see God, you know, building this list of cities. And um, again, just as in the physical world, yeah, elements pair to fill eight electrons in our outer shells. It's all from the same mind. Uh, the God who created the physical world is the same God who wrote the Bible and does everything for the glory of Jesus equals eight today. Everything in science, everything in the physical world, everything in the Bible, it all points to this one number, ultimately. All of it. It's a giant tapestry of mathematical artistry. The most creative and varied ways in all the world, but they all point to this one number, triple eight, Jesus. Hallelujah. And therefore, the wisest thing you can do is live for Jesus. The most foolish thing you can do is live to please a stupid man or a stupid group of men or anyone else under the sun because they're just mere mortals they're they are mere flesh here today and gone tomorrow the bible says they every soul is eternal yes people all live forever the bible says um but there is only one king of kings and his name is jesus equals eight today wow so do you see how much we just pulled out from a, a single, you know, little red flag sticking out of the Word of God. A little red flag, just just like a little marker on a in a gold mine field saying, dig here. This is just a bright red flag sticking sticking straight out of the Word of God. And we just dug into, you know, a single detail. <laughs> we dug into a single detail, the fact that his mother's name was from this special city called Boscath we found that city in another place in the Bible. It's significant. It's completely loaded mathematically. Um, this king ended up being one of the most righteous kings in Israel. He was certainly the youngest king in Israel at age eight. This city must have been a very righteous city. 
The numbers were exceedingly glorious to G is equals 8 at 8. That's where his mother grew up. His mother's name is recorded um, because she was obviously a righteous woman. And this town is obviously recorded because it was a righteous town. And uh, given the numbers, this, this town is, um, oh, this town is a picture of Christ because it means elevated ground upon which a rock, upon which there is rock. Oh, the depths of the wisdom, both of the wisdom and the knowledge of God. But, but the, most, the thing to get most of all, folks, is that this is real life. God is still doing this today. God is still glorifying Jesus equals 8 at 8 all around the world today. In all stories of life, in every nation, in every language, in the most creative and variety of ways you can imagine, he is glorifying Jesus equals 8 at 8. He has been doing it uh, from the dawn of time, from before the first letter of the Bible was written, and he will continue to keep doing it uh, for all eternity. He will continue to be glorifying this one number all over the world in the most creative ways imaginable. From an eight-year-old king coming from a town that's completely stamped with eight, that uh, ends up being listed in the Word of God in the eighth position in a list of 16, and ultimately, you know, we discover God doing this all over again in lists of cities, and um, it's, it's all a part of the massive glory fest for Jesus equals eight to eight. And uh, your life as well. And, <laughs> oh boy, once your eyes are open to it, it's exciting. Uh, because you see God doing it in modern times and in stories now. You know, that are coming up in newspaper headlines now. And whatever you can do to the glorified Jesus equals A to A, you do it. Absolutely. Amen.